Construction Methodology category. The Construction Methodology category recognizes those who have made significant achievements in construction that enhance the quality, timeliness, cost-effectiveness, safety, or efficiency in the construction means, methods, and delivery on road development projects. The winner of the 2012 GRAA for Construction Methodology is the Victoria Park Alliance for the Victoria Park Tunnel Project. The country was recovering from recession and the government was very keen for us to stimulate the economy through investing in infrastructure. The Victoria Park Alliance was formed to release the last bottleneck in Auckland. Victoria Park Tunnel is necessary to unlock all the benefits of that junction. Our biggest challenge was coping with the 80,000 vehicles per day and being smack bang in the middle of the city. The project's been a huge success for all of the partners. Our people were constantly challenged to find better faster, high value ways. It wasn't one tunnel, it's more like 10 tunnels. There's only about 70 or 80 metres of unbroken section of tunnel before you hit a road, a service, a pub that you have to move out of the way. The Rob Roy Hotel marked the original waterfront and our tunnel passed right through it. So we moved it away from the tunnel excavation and moved it back on top. Our biggest hidden challenge was services. Fibre optic cable, power, water, storm water and a hundred year old brick sewer. We provided more capacity in Freemans Bay Colwood. Getting the ITC cable out of the way was a big risk. One of the key objectives was to engage the supply chain. They were things like engaging local companies. Camel Free Kindergarten was a huge challenge. We managed to bring it up to the great state that it is today. We found this one guy who specialises in refurbishing windows. Years of experience, a nice old guy, family business. I had problems with accounting. So Jerry and Kirsty just sat down, spent time with me. Improving health and safety, we gave the workforce the opportunity to change their behaviour. I got crushed by a digger bucket. A lot of procedures weren't followed that day. We've managed to turn it around, turn it into a real positive. We used it to drive safety. The culture wasn't just we look after you on site, it was we look after you on site to take this home to your families. We actually had the number of unsolicited compliments exceed the number of complaints. favourite compliment I got was from a neighbour who said, have you trained your guys to look people in the eyes? Well, they're looking after us, we're looking after them. We had smiling ambassadors standing at the gate. Our gate girls, they would greet upwards of 50 trucks a day. The way they interacted with people who came by built our reputation. We have residential commercial and industrial type businesses all around us in marinas which host million dollar boats. There really were no second chances on this project. One of the biggest challenges was actually how we managed noise and we were recognised by the NZTA as being leaders in construction noise management. In terms of information flow it was nothing short of exceptional. From a community perspective there were over 150 project updates. We had a big open day with 16,000 community residents walked through the tunnel. That ability to solve the problems and to gain that momentum, that's what I would like to capture. We've handed over $20 million worth of assets. We've upgraded services and it's been a wonderful asset to both the councils, our client and the wider community.